The Wavelink Screen Reformatter allows for the modification of screen captures received from a mobile device or a PC Telnet session. This utility is built into the Wavelink TE client at no additional cost. It is recommended to use the Windows PC version of the Screen Reformatter to rename, reorder, and delete screens from a saved screen capture file. To access the Screen Reformatter from the Windows PC TE Client, click on the Term menu, highlight Configure, and then click on Screen Reformatter. If this is the first time using the Reformatter, you will be asked to add a screen capture file or a .wltsc file. Please understand, you can browse for a screen capture from this dialog, but we will show you the normal way to import screen captures. With that in mind, choose No. When the screen reformatter contains screens, the easiest way to add a screen capture is to go to the File menu and click on Import Screen Capture. Now you will be asked to locate the screen capture file that you want to manipulate. We will use the file from the previous module, Acme Screen Capture .wl -tsc. After the file is located, click on Open. Note, if you have other screens on the reformatter, the application will ask you if you want the files to be merged or do you want to delete the other screens and use this new set of screens. When in doubt, always select Merge. If you select New, all old screens will be deleted. This happens most often when you want to add screens missed from the original screen capture, so they need to be merged in. You will see that 31 screens are added and 41 duplicate screens were not. The screen reformatter tries its best to delete what it thinks are duplicate screens. This helps clean out a screen capture. Click OK to add the screens. The 31 screens are now available in the screen reformatter. Now it is time to clean up the screen capture. There are three major things you can do. They are rename a screen, delete a screen, and reorder screens. In this example, we will rename screen number one. Highlight screen number one and right click. From the menu, select Rename Screen. The Rename Screen applet appears. Change Screen 1 to say SCN001 Login User ID. Click on OK and the name of the screen has changed. Next, we will delete a screen. If it was decided that screen number 2 was not needed, all we would do is highlight screen number 2 and right click. From the menu, select Delete Screen. The screen will be deleted from the list. Last, we can reorder the screens to meet the flow of the project or just how you want to order the screens. Use drag and drop and move screen 28 to just below screen 7. Do this as many times as needed to get the screens in the order desired. Once you have the screens renamed, deleted, and reordered, you are now ready to export the cleaned up screen capture file to use with the Wavelink Velocity Client. From the Tools menu, click on Export Screen Capture. Enter the file name for the configured screen capture. I do not recommend overriding the original capture in case it is needed later. Enter the new file name. In this example, it is clean acme screens.wltsc. After entering the name, click on Save. You now have a file ready to import into the Wavelink Velocity Console when needed. We will talk about how to configure screens in the Velocity Console in a later training module.